now let us understand first is the static lot size procedure static lot size procedure means what there are three types of ex fx and hv so where we are maintaining it let us see where we are having this lot size maintenance system okay so up till now everybody is understand what is the mean of lot if you go and buy uh, mangoes you will get a, on a dozen basis right that is the unit of measure actually but uh, if you go and uh, ask for one box, so one box contain minimum two dozen, right? If you recently you have purchased a mangoes from market, you remember if you purchase a box, they will give you two dozen. That is 24 is the minimum quantity, right? Yes, sir. Uh, let us go to MN03, okay, and take this PCB is a laptop. I'm taking one raw material, just for example. And if you go to your plant in MRP one view, we can see here in MRP one view, we are having lot size procedure or lot size data. So we are maintaining here lot for lot EX. Okay, EX first, every time we are using EX lot for lot. Lot for lot order quantity. What is the mean of lot for lot order quantity? Okay. So let me have another material and try to go further. Okay. So let me go to our material slash and M U2 and laptop B44. Okay. B144. Okay. Now here we are going to have lot size EX. Okay. So lot size EX is maintained. Now let me check slash and MD04. Laptop B14, right? Now, for this material, for the material, you can see there are plan order or something. Okay, order is generated. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me up, let me delete all this plan order and let me take MRP. Okay. What was the material we have taken in MM02? Was different laptop b144 144 was it right uh, something is wrong yeah. okay so we are having cross equipment plan here uh, no no i don't think it is cross b14 so this is a good example laptop b14 and let me say see, see the lot size you can go to the master data over here you can see the lot size here ex is there okay now Coming back to the point, so we are having a lot of dependent requirement created for this. So first of all, let me delete the dependent requirement. How we can delete the requirement? MD62 or MD61. Okay. Demand or dependent requirement, both are same. And we can just go over here and we can delete this. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now let me save it for a minute. Let me go to here and refresh it. Okay, so plan order are there. Okay, if I take MRP run now, it will MD02. Okay, and I have to use delete because I don't want those data. Okay, I think I have to run UHV maybe. Let's see what you want. Yeah, okay. Now you can see I have clean slate. Now let us understand what is a lot size. Lot size EX stands for what? Lot size EX say lot for lot order quantity exact to the day. Okay. This is your receipt element and this is the requirement element. So requirement is what? Requirement is nothing but your PIR or sales order. Remember our demand management topic, guys. We discuss. Yes, sir. Requirement yes, is sir. equal to your PIR, plan independent requirement, or your uh what we say mm -hmm. sales order. Those are your requirements. So we are assuming there is a requirement quantity of 500. So, lot size will be created exactly with the 500 quantity. 
if you say 200 it will create 200 quantity if you say one uh, this is to 150 quantity it will create 150 quantity as a lot okay lot means what plan order see here now here i don't have anything let me go to md61 now okay i am uploading a demand okay okay i am in md62 my bad slash and md61 okay now here i will upload demand i will say I require 10,000 quantity. This is my lot. Okay. This is my demand. Okay. I say 10,000. Okay. So, what I am giving? I am giving my demand. Okay. My requirement. Now, if you come and refresh over here. So, this is my requirement. Okay. Everybody, this is my requirement. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to take MRP run. I am going to take remark run three. Okay, planning mode is three. Delete and recreate. And now, if you refresh over here, you can see. Okay, now here you can see for thirteen thousand quantity, I am having lot of thirteen thousand. Okay. Here for ten thousand independent requirement, I got a lot lot, lot of ten thousand PIR. Okay, uh, plan order. Here my requirement is. Oh, see, here we will go with the calculation. 13,500 by my safety stock. Sorry, stock. 500 by my safety stock. So, I required precisely 13,000 quantity. I was available with me. Out of that, I am saying I require 10,000. So, system say already I am having excess 3,000. Okay. And there is a sales order which is coming for 12,000. So, I am going to have a lag of only 9,000. Okay. So, system is creating according to the calculation and system is giving us the lot whatever we are asking same quantity okay let me check why there is a production order or open okay leave it will come so you understand whatever quantity i am giving same lot is getting created so that is called as a lot for lot order okay See? whatever quantity i am giving as a requirement that is coming as your receipt element same